season. We're about to get political discussions in here again oh, all the time. Those yeah. are fun in here, though. They, I enjoy the hell they out are, of those. They are, they are, and I just don't like the commercials. No, the commercials bug the, the shit commercials out of me. Because they're so terrible. terrible. Oh, yeah. The political commercials, okay, I say this. It is not a comment about the faith itself or its value. But political commercials are like Christian movies. They think because there's a message, they don't have to be good. Like, let's put some production value in them. Yeah, we just got deleted by and the And make them decent. Right? <laughs> I don't think they were following us. Christ- so much for the like, comment, and subscribe from the Christian right. They're like, oh. The oh, worst movie today. I've ever seen was a Christian movie. Uh, it's, uh, Which one was it? Facing the Giants. Facing the Giants. So, You're not wrong. so awful. Like... They didn't hire writers that could write. Oh, they didn't no. hire actors that could act. They didn't hire lighting guys that could do lighting. They didn't hire sound guys that it, knew how to use anything but a lavalier mic. It's got to be someone's college movie. It felt like it. But it just somehow made it. Like I someone mean, put it in a the, box. The lead. Like, first of all, I have, f- the whole premise of the movie, don't cheat, be honest, achieve. And then they get into the final game by ratting on the other team for cheating, which... Well, I mean, you know... I'm not, say it's, I'm not saying it's morally wrong, but it's a questionable message to put in a movie about achievement. Don't you think? Um, I mean, it kind of is. Then, on top of that, right, so it's always got the Jesus lighting, which is like shadowy pillar of light coming straight down on the lead. Of course. At one point, the lead is in the forest and drops to his knees. Can't cry on cue, so he just blinks a lot. So he's dropping to his knees in the forest with the pillar of Jesus light, talking to God, blinking like at an obtuse rate. With I didn't know. I didn't know what I was watching. It's terrible. It's every single part of it is bad. If, if you, uh, <laughs> it's like Disney. Oh, uh, well, you know why? So the guy who directed it, the guy who wrote it. He's also the main actor. Oh, yes. That's why he got cast as the main yeah, actor. Yes. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's clearly a piece that he was very good on. Now, if you IMDb it, two people have pictures in the cast. And everyone else is everyone just, else just, is a, just shadow. a shadowy yeah. silhouette. And, and if you're going to make a movie about honest achievement, let's just make it clean and have them achieve something, right? Like, make it well, the Bad News Bears, but for Christian faith. Don't have them rat out another team for cheating and take their spot, because that's just um, cheap. I don't care if but, it's right. It's cheap. But that movie already exists. It exists a lot of times over, No, I turns mean, that, out. That, that, the, the, the Christian one already exists. What is it? Jesus Christ Superstar. I don't think I've seen it. Oh. <laughs> you are missing out on a gem, my man. <laughs> I mean, but let I mean, me tell you right now. It's like the Wizard of Oz meets the Christian faith. You just don't need that. You don't need, like, that novel hook. And you certainly don't need it to be a predominant part of the story, right? Uh, like, it's the white Bronco and the last fucking Jedi. Yes. Which is this, stupid. This, this is true. It's true. Um, would you be opposed to this movie if Tebow was in it now? No, because it would have production value if he was in uh, it. Ah, see? I think <laughs> Facing the Giants 2 is coming out with Tebow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're going gonna, gonna gonna to see him. We're gonna, he's going to be here. Yeah. We can talk uh, to him about we, this. Yeah, he'll be in town soon. Listen. I'm, I'm thinking Listen, Tim, Tebow. Tim, I have an idea. The coach, maybe? The coach or, or the guy who plays quarterback. But either one. No, he's got to be the coach. I'm feeling the coach. He's got to be the lead. Yes. The dad I'm, slash I'm coach. coach. Dad, coach. Let's kneel every fourth quarter. Listen, Put it up I, for the Gipper. And I would be way more comfortable with what actually happened to the Broncos when he was playing for them. Like, they just got obscenely lucky for a bunch of playoff games in a row. Then we lost, but we get the spot because the other team had to, like, was cheating and had to withdraw. Way better storyline is, like, a whole bunch of successive miracles got us there because we believed in God and we were trying. Oh. What, like, so you, you again, want, no comment you, on the want, faith, but like, one's a cleaner storyline than the other. So you want, like, a football team that comes out, and they're like, uh, we're like, going gonna to win. Because that play should have been impossible, but it yeah. happened. Cool. Yeah. Can believe that. Cut to Tebow. He's like, we're on a mission from yeah. God. Way better than yeah. they had three guys on their team that were too old, so we yeah. get to go to the final game hey, instead of them. Perfect. That's yeah. stupid. No. That's just, just dumb. We're on a mission from God. Yes. Every way, time. Way better storyline <laughs> for a faith-based movie, so it turns out. Well, so and no white bronco. I guess. I guess. Yeah. So you need Tebow in it. 
they need to be on a mission from God. And then also add in a little bit of angels in the outfield. And yes. we've got a movie. Hundred percent. Yeah? I like it. Who plays who plays Christopher Lloyd's character though? I mean, you, you need a you need a football angel. Yeah, we do. So who would who would your football angel be? Um, John Elway. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's deep. <laughs> I like that. Just like a kooky John Elway. Yeah, hundred percent. Shows up randomly, like and and Tim Tebow can't see him because he can never see the angel. Yeah. So Tim Tebow never knows he's there, as the coach. Mm-hmm. But the one dude sees all the other angels. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, facing the angels. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, done. There you go. See, we just fixed Fox Faith. There you go. That movie was so bad. Terrible.